The World Health Organization, WHO, confirmed in May last year that 2020 would be dedicated to the nurse and midwives, providing a once-in-a-generation opportunity to showcase them. It chose the theme to coincide with the 20th anniversary of the birth of Florence Nightingale in May this year. Arguably, nursing has moved into a global spotlight in a way that calling it the year of the nurse never would have. The response to the pandemic showcased to the world that nursing really is saving lives. 2020 is an opportunity for nurses to better explain what they do, to break the myths around nursing and to advocate for investment in the profession. In order to explain what nursing is, we need to look back at how nursing started, what we have learned from the founders of modern nursing, and what the key attributes of nursing are that make it stand out from other healthcare professions. As the largest group of frontline health professionals caring for the health needs of individuals and communities, nurses have powerful stories to tell that can help to bring about positive change. A supported and empowered nursing workforce is an effective solution to the problem of improving health outcomes. Nursing is at the core of enabling health systems across the entire world to achieve high quality, accessible and affordable health care. Through sheer weight of numbers, our scientific reasoning and our proximity to the patient, we are nursing the world to health. Thus our theme this year being, Nurses a voice to lead, nursing the world to health. 2020 is an important time for nursing. It provides the opportunity to clearly demonstrate to policymakers, health professionals, and the public about the enormous contribution of nurses to health and well being, the roles and responsibilities of this vital profession, and to shatter the perpetuated myths and stereotypes that have afflicted the profession for far too long. This is our moment. Let us seize this time, not just for the sake of nursing, but for the benefit of our world. This was intended to have helped make the case for better support, better investment, and better resourcing of the nursing and midwifery professions. Yes, year of the nurse plans have changed, but look at what is happening with COVID-19 and the nursing response to it and how actually it is highlighting and showcasing and profiling lots of things that we wanted to achieve out of the year of the nurse and midwife. Not in a way we would have wanted. None of us would have wanted it this way, but this is our reality and this is what nurses are doing. Each of the nurses working with these patients is potentially putting their own health at risk. And we know that many nurses are contracting the virus across around the world despite their best efforts to keep themselves safe. Governments need to acknowledge the role of nursing in the front line against the virus. And we need to put nurses right at the center of our planning and of the support we are providing. Nurses are also suffering from issues around breaks, psychological support, and lack of financial compensation for the hours they worked. As an association, we would like to highlight the need for ongoing support once this crisis is over, due to its pressure and demands. We need our leaders to keep listening to our nursing input at a senior level to help with the response and inform policies. We urge Ministry of Health to support nurses and other healthcare workers in the front line, both at work and in quarantine, by ensuring that they have adequate rest periods, sufficient personal protective equipment, and psychological assistance. They are key partners who are rightfully demanding a seat at the top policy making tables, bringing an invaluable clinical expertise and through their membership a direct line to key intelligence on the ground. As NNAs, we play a vital role, shaping, improving, building and developing health systems. Their expertise, advice, 
evidence and direct contact with grassroots nursing is an essential part of the successful management of these outbreaks and of others in the future. In addition, NNAs are playing a critical advocacy role on behalf of the nursing workforce worldwide to ensure their support and protection. Nurses, please continue to adhere to protocol and protect yourselves at all times. It is maybe one of our most challenging period, but with our resilience, we will conquer. As I close, all nurses, as nurses, we need to feel a sense of accomplishment. We are going to feel very tired and exhausted, but today, we all should take a moment to feel immensely proud of our choice of profession. And remember, we are a voice to lead, nursing the world to health. To all nurses, I salute you. Take a bow.